वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सोनिया हियर फ्रॉम ग्रोइंग क्राफ्ट एंड येस टुडे आई हैव फेविक्रिल मोल्डेड क्ले सो दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर म्यूरल आर्ट डेकोर एंड थ्री आर्ट एंड इट कम्स इन अ स्मॉल पैकेजिंग एंड अ बिग कॉम्बो पैक आल्सो व्हिच आई जस्ट गॉट टू सो गॉट टू सी ऑनलाइन एंड आई ऑर्डर्ड दिस वन सो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू share my review on this and how i am going to use it and i am also going going to try this on a mold so let's get started and before we start with the opening let us see what is there uh, what is mentioned here so this is shilpkar is now molded okay so if you remember they had this uh, shilpkar packaging i will try to post in the picture if i get but otherwise there was this carton cut uh, cardboard box small thin cardboard box which had written which on which it was written shilpkar and it had the clay so this is now called as molded honestly i just felt that uh, having the paper carton was better than having these plastics but i hope the fevicryl brand is listening okay now it is used to uh, mold and create fabulous shapes cd shapes like wall hanging vases etc instructions to use Take two equal quantities of mold resin and mold it hardener. Mix both by rolling between the palms. By rolling the mixture, uh, and our glaze. Fold it into half and roll it again. Repeat the process till the uniformly mixes and becomes complete white. For glossy or smoothy finish, run a wet finger on the over the created object before it dries. Okay. Note mold it hardens within 90 minutes at 27 degree. Do not use on areas coming in contact with flame. High temperature enables drinking water. So if you create anything with this, uh, it cannot be used. Um, for example, if I am creating a small platter, I cannot use that for uh, eating purpose. I cannot keep my food on that. After uh, use, wash hands with soap. okay and then it has the okay now this ma uh, small pack is uh, of uh, 50 grams and i got this for 20 rupees and this is nothing but the resin and hardener and the clay form so let's open it and see okay I can see two different packs here. So this is molded hardener. This is resin base and now let's start mixing mixing this. Okay, I need to open this also. I am thinking of using it half the pieces. So I am going to take my palette knife. and i will cut the half of of the small then i am going to take my um raisin base and i am going to cut this also in half so left over piece is something which i am going to use later on so right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to seal the remaining pieces put it inside this pouch and now as it was mentioned that i need to mix it really well uh in my palm so i'm going to take both these clay it's the equal quantity and now i'm going to mix it surely really well uh if you have long nails like like me just make sure it doesn't go inside your nails and even if it goes you need to make sure that uh, you clean your hands really really well so if while mixing this i can tell you that this is really smooth this is soft this is not very hard it's just that i'm trying a little more pressure here so that it mixes well and uh, yes if you need to uh, have the um correct harden effect once it dries out then you need to mix it really really well so the mixture should should be really good maybe i can roll it up okay and then again i can roll it up again roll it up 
ओके 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 सो हेयर आई थिंक दिस मिक्सचर लुक्स गुड नाउ सो इट सेज दैट इट इज गोइंग टू टेक नाइंटी मिनट्स टू ड्राई आउट ओके सो आई हैव वन एंड हाफ आवर्स टाइम बिकॉज आई हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड नाउ सो लेट्स टेक आउट द मोल्ड वॉट आई हैव Okay, so for before using my mold, I need to have my baby powder, and this is one of the very my new uh, shopping. This is my new shopping of my mold, and I got this beautiful border mold, and I'm going to sharing uh, all the links down in the description box. Do check that, and it has some really nice and beautiful borders. So I'm going to use this one, this clay. on the small and before i start i need to sprinkle some powder and for that i'm going to use my flat brush i'll the reason why i am uh, using my powder is that it should not stick inside and it should come out easily and smoothly so that's the only reason so i'm just going to run my brush on the complete mold uh of course i want to try all the shapes so i am going to have my clay mold on all the sections it's super easy just make sure don't add too much of powder we don't want to fill it with the powders and of course we are going to remove it later on so now i will just back flip my mold and all the excess of powder is out now it has just a very thin layer of powder there so i'll keep it aside and now i'll start with my molded clay let me zoom in so that you can see it clearly okay now here it is and i'll start with this single borders now don't take too much of clay you need to be uh really quick and really uh gentle with these you can always take help of your uh, palette knives just to make sure that uh, it smooths out well and you can always add some clay whenever it's required bit of gentle pressing now i really don't know if i should take out uh, how to take out the excessive part of the clay so if i open it like this can i see that is an oh this is looking beautiful i think i need to be a little patient with this one Now this looks good. I'm happy with this one. I just need to make sure that it looks good down here. Okay, so this is done and I think it has compressed really well. Okay. Okay, maybe I can just drop it on the outer sides so that if it has anything extra it can come out. this is done now uh, i am thinking of using these small balls and fill up the small small areas let me see which technique works out better here
le doigt de nos lèvres, des doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur insulté Ce sont six ou deux faits qui sont venus Impossible à effacer, le bonheur est passé À deux doigts de nos lèvres, des doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur insulté Ce sont six ou deux faits qui sont venus Impossible à effacer À deux doigts de nos lèvres, des doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur insulté Ce sont six ou deux faits qui sont venus Impossible à effacer, le bonheur est passé À deux doigts de nos lèvres, des doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur insulté Ce sont six ou deux faits qui sont venus Impossible à effacer I just feel maybe I need to add some water to it because this is drying really really fast so let me just get some water so here I have a water and I'm going to just dip my finger onto this and I'm going to spread it I hope this works out I really don't know what uh, didn't work out here maybe I have taken to uh, such an intricate design and I really don't know I, oops everything is coming out now so I think this palette knife is actually helping me a lot in uh, settling my clay inside this intricate design of the mold and which is a big help right now okay this looks a little tricky but i guess if i will practice this for one or two times it is going to turn out good it is going to work out for sure because there's nothing which we can't do it's just we need to have a little more practice just have put some water here and now I'm going to try to stick this one to my base okay now this is done I leave it as it is now let it dry and then dry partially and then maybe I can start with the next step okay now for the last one It 
was no way mentioned that I can add water to it but uh, I just feel that if I'll add some water it will get a little softer and then maybe I will be able to mold it inside smoothly because when I had started with the fresh mix it was easier and later on it was getting harder for me to uh, put this inside the mold so yeah this is almost 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 done just a bit of finishing touch here the design is actually very very minute so this is actually a little difficult thing to pour in the clay inside that which is not easier at all and but still i'm trying i just want to see if this works well then we can create use these molds for uh, some of the beautiful uh, mixed media artwork and on your uh, different projects too so first this needs to work out well and but one thing i'm really happy is that i took the half uh, slice of the mold so it was actually the half packet of the mold overall when you mix it and it went well here so like I'm not left with anything except the small bite. <laughs> now this is really getting tricky for me. I really don't know what what is it that I am doing wrong here. If you have used it, if you know it, please do comment below and let me know. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know that if I can sort this out in some easier way. Now, whenever you're using your palette knife, you need to be really, really careful because with this, there are high chances that you might damage your mold. And like I always say, we don't want to damage this one. Now, with the plain water, I'm just cleaning this up. And this is going to make sure that I have put up my uh, clay properly. If in case uh, there is anything extra on some other side, it is just going to slide out. So like this, I am going to just rub it in circular motion. And I think, can you see the difference in the shape here? So yes, I was able to take out this shape now I am going to rub my fingers on the complete base so that I can take out all the extra uh, clay from the sides so while I'm rubbing this I can actually uh, feel and see that my clay has dried out it has dried out not completely but partially it has started drying out and which is a good thing that means if in future i want to create something for a quick project this is going to work really well
oh i overdid this and now i will have to redo this portion so i will start with applying from the edges maybe so with a palette knife it's actually super easy to fill in your raw uh, clay and now here i'm going to take some clay and i'll start filling this up and i think this is working out better for me rather than just pressing it too much cuz uh, with your fingers it becomes a little sticky and uh, i hope i will be able to cut all the extra parts later on this is not working out at all i really don't know maybe i should sprinkle some powder here so that it does not becomes too much of sticky the problem what i did was i added too much of water on my palette knife and because of that it was not sticking there at all so because of water it got uh, a bit slimy kinda and it was just coming out everything is coming out okay i'll try to fill this up with my palette knife only and later on i'll just do the touch up work i really don't know i have seen many people uh, suggesting me to create a video with without any flaws but i think being a crafter it's not that uh, easy for us also to create everything flawlessly we end up doing so many mistakes and i guess we all learn from our mistakes and that is more important thing to accept your mistake to understand it and uh, to overcome that i think that's more important okay so here with my wet finger i'm just going to settle this down and i'm going to be very gentle this time i really don't want to mess it up again at all so i will be really gentle here oh. okay so here I'm almost, almost, almost done. Now I'm not at all sure that how it is going to turn out, but once it dries out, then definitely I'm going to show you that how it turned out. Okay, so it's more than ninety minutes now. Actually, I finished it uh, by three o'clock, and now it's uh, five o'clock. So it's uh, almost. Um, 120 minutes and this looks almost dried out now i can feel that this is heavy this is a little hard but it is not that hard i feel let me see but the most important that it should come out easily and i'm really oh 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 oh, oh. this is coming out so softly so nicely and this looks so delicate wow 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 can you really see this this is looking beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous let me take out other pieces too and i'm trying to be very oops i'm trying to be let me finish up with this one okay oh this is also looking so gorgeous the design has come out so nicely so i'll keep this here this here then i'm going to take out this one this actually got damaged and i know it it is because of my uh, too much of water but i will try to fix it up i'll see if i if i can no i can't cuz i actually didn't do the 
clay work properly there so now i'm having this piece and this didn't work out well because i had some of the edges uh, clay on the outside which is completely my mistake there's no fault with the clay uh, this one looks good i'm hoping that this delicate piece will come out well and uh, the best part about these silicone uh, molds are that they are so soft that once it dries out once your clay has dries out you just uh, twist and turn and everything comes out so nicely and look at this mm -hmm. beautiful piece this is so gorgeous this is so 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 beautiful i'm super happy i am sure that you will love this too and it is a must try for every wow <laughs> yeah it is a must try for everyone and i'll just zoom in the camera so that you can see what all pieces i have created and this is looking absolutely gorgeous absolutely absolutely gorgeous and now i am uh, thinking of doing some color work here mm -hmm. and now for my color work what i'm going to do is i mm -hmm. am going to keep a plain black color cardstock here and then i will be adding some spray paints to this and let me see i'm going to spray color these uh, small pieces also cuz i'm sure i'm going to use it some other other way and uh, i really don't know why i feel that this is still a bit wet or maybe maybe let me just come back with a tray okay so i just felt that uh, doing the spray work on my uh, card stock like above my card stock is actually going to um this these are clay so it might get soggy i'm not sure cuz i have never ever done this so if you add water to it color to it how it is going to react we really don't know so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it in a plastic tray and now i'm going to use my spray color So here I will be using this brown color. Let me check out with some more colors. Okay, so I have got uh, some shimmer paints, uh, sprays, some uh, sprinkle mist, and now I'm going to use my sprays on this. So I'm going to use different two three shades. I'm just going to shake it really well, and I will just. spray my colors on the top of it so as you can see that i'm just blending the colors here so i'm not very particular that how exactly and where exactly i want these colors but i just want them to blend in well so that it looks good and now i'm going to pick each and every piece uh and show you let me just show you here that how this is looking this is looking absolutely gorgeous and i just want to show pick it up and show you that how these embellishments are looking and this is looking beautiful now just because it was on my tray i could not show you the real colors on the embellishments as it was taking too much of uh, background color too but here it's absolutely gorgeous let me zoom in let me show you beautiful 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 so now i'm going to let it dry and then i'll show you that how the dried pieces look as usual i'm going to use my heat gun to speed up the drying process so one thing i had uh, felt that these are going to get soggy but these are quite hard till now they have not become soggy even after absorbing the color so i guess that's the one of the best part of these clay and uh, 
yes so i can just show you that how my final product looks and these are looking absolutely absolutely gorgeous i'm super happy that i tried this one can you so this, see the color variations and how how beautiful this has turned out you can leave it as it is you can use the natural color you can add some different shades you can do acrylic painting and different variations of color and this is looking so 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 gorgeous so yes with this my tutorial is done and i hope you'll enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any queries about this one please do let me know in the comment section below i will try my level best to help you out with the way i can and uh, of course i'm listing all these supplies including my heat gun which is a must for every crafter down in the description box do check that if you have uh, uh any uh, confusion regarding the material feel free to ping me anytime on my youtube channel just comment and i will be uh, so happy to help you all thank you so 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 much for watching take care bye bye